What's up you guys, Sai StarCraft here with a StarCraft 2 commentary because that is what I play. I play StarCraft 2. I don't play Team Fortress. I don't play Unreal. I don't play Civilization 5. I don't play Age of Empires. Uh, sometimes. I, I play that sometimes. Uh, I don't play Team Fortress 2. Did I already say that? I don't even know. All I know you guys is this is a Zerg vs Protoss on Metalopolis. Also known as the city with lots of huge size the size scrapers yeah size scrapers i've invented a new term for my name size scrapers i wish i could drag this mouse and so that it was a a sideways triangle and so instead of like just being normal triangle i could actually drag it sideways and cover this entire building without any excess area because you can see the four triangles on the outside that's excess area right there um but yeah this is this is a zvp psi in the top right and uh, Big Bad Beaver, Big Bad Beaver, also known as Fat Chick Vagina. In the bottom left as the Pink Protoss, I might be intoxicated. That is up for you to decide and me to know and you to decide again. You have to decide it twice because you are a sinner and that's what sinners have to do. Anywho, anywho, -go, we have a gateway going down for the Big Bad Vagina. And Sai, so far, not throwing down anything. Is he going to go for a fast expansion? He does scout the close position Protoss. Always very, very scary to see a close position Protoss. Never a good uh, good thing to see. Big Bad Beaver harassing with his little Wally-like structure. A.K.A. Probe. Not going to get any kills. The probes will shoo him away. A.K.A. Drones. Lots of A.K.A.s going on this game, you guys. A.K.A.s are my forte. Up. Accent over the E. Oh, Chrono boosted Nexus without a probe coming out. That is a huge mistake. He's going to lose at least 10 minerals from that. He's going to need a Zealot at 100 minerals, but he's only going to be at 90 minerals. He's not going to be able to make that Zealot. I'm going to run in with Lings and win the game. All because that poor little Wally did not get created while he was Chrono boosting. Sai with the gas deal. Going out for some quick scouting. Nothing. Going to see nothing. What is he going to see? I mean, it's so early in the game. Of course, he's going to go cybernetic score. I suppose I could have seen a two gate, but two gate would have come much quicker. You would see the two gates a lot faster than you would see a gate and a cybernetic score. So that is not a possibility. Do not tell me that he could have gone two gate because he couldn't have. It looks like I went a pull first and then a gas. Yes, I can I can tell that because I was the one playing this game. And little known fact, when you are playing this game, you know what you're going to do. Hatchery now going down, so it looks like I went a uh, pool, hatchery, and then gas. Kind of. I kind of went a pool, a really late gas, and then a hatchery. So, very unorthodox build. I'm trying to throw my opponent off with my newbiness. Now... This is something that's entirely underrated. You might see this from a lot of all-in Koreans. They try to throw off their opponent with a lack of skill and just uh, not lack of all-in. They love to go all-in and throw their opponents off with their newbiness. Players like Jinro, uh, Idra, um, insert other player that's not a foreigner here, they love to play real and not all-in. And uh, that's how StarCraft should be played. But you can see here, I'm pretending I'm playing like a noob, but I'm actually not because there's that hatchery. And, uh, oh, we're seeing a Roach Warren. Close positions. Okay, close positions, you guys. Roach Warrens are almost a necessity. A necessity. You almost always have to get a Roach Warren when you are in... Excuse me. Nope, thought I had something going. False alarm, false alarm. You guys are okay. Uh, in close positions, you almost have to... Always have to get a Roach Warren against uh, Protoss because their 4 gate aggression is so dangerous. Even like 3 gate expansion aggression can be extremely dangerous. And you can see I am getting Baneling Speed or Zergling Speed. I'm not neglecting that. If we look at the Harvest Count, I am down by 3, but I have an expansion up. Um, if we look at the Army tab, I'm, I'm pretty close in the Army. Only, okay, well, down 50 minerals and 325 gas, so maybe not. Ah! But, you know, a lot of that is sentries. Sentries aren't the best assaulting unit. Unless you have a lot of zealous to support, but he doesn't really have that right now. Kind of poking with my lings, checking out what's going on. What's going on, Protoss? What's going on? And a couple roaches as well, because I do anticipate some aggression. I was uh, moving up those lings. Killed that probe. That's very nice. He's not going to be able to warp in any units. Pause! 
Day 9 moment. Does he have warp gates? Yes, he does, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a pylon, but that probe is dead. That probe is dead. And he is pushing in, but I've got some roaches. He's going to be scared off by those roaches. No one likes cockroaches. They can serve. Oh, nice force field. He needed one more right here. He probably could have... He could have cut this force field and placed one right here. But, you know, only I have perfect force fields. It's just a matter of fact. I have perfect force fields. Sentries are so mother can OP. I do not know why more people don't just mass sentries. That's the only unit you need as Protoss. Mass sentries, people. I mean, they do what? 7 DPS? 60? 6 DPS! Weapon speed 1. 6 DPS. Stalkers do... Okay, stalkers do more DPS than that. They do about, what, 7.5 DPS. Zealots... Okay, zealots aren't... Zealots don't count. They're a melee unit. They can't cast spells. Alright, so zealot okay, sentries aren't as good as I thought they were, but they're still sick, man. They have such good DPS. They used to have 8 damage. Okay, I predicted that sentries would be nerfed from 8 DPS to 6 DPS. Was I right? Yes. Any hoozle. 2 gas. We do have an expansion. 3 get expansion with the forge. Uh, robotics facility going down, so pretty standard play, bleh, play from Big Bad Beaver. Harvester count. 31 to 30. Not really where a Zerg wants to be. If you're going to match bases with the Protoss as a Zerg play, you want to have, you know, at least like 8 Harvester advantage against Protoss. Uh, but that's the wonders of a close position game, ladies and gentlemen, my gentle stallions. That's just how Zerg have to roll, you know. They have to get units because a Protoss can attack and be at your base within nanoseconds. I'm not even kidding, like right now. Like, he could move out right now and be at my base negative four seconds later. So I would have had to have, you know, a swarm of units coming in negative five seconds later to even defend against it. Now pushing out, scaring my lings away. We're seeing burrow and roach speed coming up. So that early roach warn uh, was just kind of a a uh, indicator of things to come. Mm, things to come. Uh, indicating more roaches and uh, burrow coming. And he's responding with some more mortals. So pretty solid play from Big Bad Beaver. Close positions, two expansions. He's actually uh, only down by three on harvesters, looking very good for him. So, if he can make some kind of push with the mortals, stalkers, sentries, I will be in big bad trouble from Big Bad Beaver. Hey yo, see what I did there? You know, you guys don't give me enough credit because I I do kind of like funny things like oh terrible force fields, zergling sip through the force fields like a elusive miniature wiener in a tiny vagina. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you dumb overlord. Oh, I'm gonna try to save my over oh, the overlord is alive. Oh my god, that overlord is alive. Is it gonna survive? Oh, fuck. My overlord died. But I got a lot of roaches. Do they have speed? Pause mode. Ooh, look how close they are to having speed. If I had speed, I could circle around and kill all those units. Resume mode. Oh my god, if only they... Oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> Most ill-advised burrow ever. Oh, if I can run. Oh yeah, there we go. I was just, oh, okay. Those were good force fields. Those were very good force fields. His immortal was in for it, man. That immortal was gonna die. Very nice force fields. You can just see how good, like, just a few force fields can be. He spammed tons of force fields right here. Wasn't that effective? And just two force fields right here. Just amazing. He saved a lot of units by doing that. So nice force fields by Big Bad Vagina. And, uh, you know, he's even on Harvesters. It's very difficult for Zerg to take a third base. If Zerg is going to take a third base, they usually have to take it right here or right here. You do not want to expand towards your opponent when taking a third base as Zerg. Production tab, Hydrogen going up. At nicely timed with the Robotics Bay. But I am going for another push. Not too many sentries from Big Bad Beaver. Only laying down a couple of force fields. Forced me to back up, but, uh, you know, I wasted a little bit of energy. Only lost one or two units. Not looking too bad. My minerals uh, are a bit high. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe I'm saving for some hydros. Maybe I just don't have enough larva. Zero larva, zero larva. Yeah, I don't have enough larva. 55 energy on that queen. 13 energy on that queen. So this bitch needs to fucking inject. Inject, bitch. Ah, uh, did you see that? You guys see that? <clears throat> It's like three level prongs just waiting for my orifices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I, I have a feel. Oh, is that a changeling? Yeah, that's a changeling, man. If you guys are able to sneak a changeling into your opponent's base, just right click on a unit, any unit, have that unit follow their unit, and you will see everything they are doing. It's like you have a uh, webcam in your uh, your best friend's sister, best friend's sister's room. You can just spy on every single thing they are doing. And that is exactly what I'm doing with this changeling. I can see your naked sister's body. And it is nice, let me tell you. She may be underage. I don't even care because there are no laws in America. Well, there are, but... Uh, oh, some nice forces. Colossus getting a little over eager. Oh, premature Colossus. I can relate to that. And this is going to result in a lot of hydras, a lot of roaches busting in. Roaches burrowing for no apparent reason. A couple of them still burrow, trying to heal up. I don't even know why. Maybe they want the Hydras to tank, even though they have 80 hit points compared to the Roach's 145 hit points and one armor. I don't even know. You need to umbrella, you stupid little bitch. But this changeling, oh, this changeling, look at this changeling. He's trying to attack this Colossus, but he just does not have the muscular structure that a Zealot has. Changelings, little known fact, are made of all blubber. They are much like whales. They are harvested by Japanese Protoss units for their blubber. But they do not have any uh, muscular structure at all. You can see he's about to die, and you just look at the fashion that he dies in. Oh, uh, oh! You see that? That is all fat, just blubbering away. I'm gonna pick off this Nexus. Meanwhile, production tab eight, nine more roaches coming in. Protoss has a lot of money saved up, but he just can't spend it. Everything is on the cooldown. His warp gates aren't, but he needs to uh, use those warp gates. There we go. One Zelda coming in. He needs more Colossi. So I do pick off that Nexus with the combined forces of Roach's Hydras timed perfectly to come right before this Colossus. However, he did venture that Colossus a little too close to my army, allowing me to pick it off. That could have done a lot of damage, but it just, it just didn't help. And this Overseer is going to scout this expansion. Great thing about scouting an expansion early is that just like eight, eight Zerglings can go in and just wipe it all out as long as they don't have any warp in uh, technology which once this pylon completes he's going to have and these 11 zerglings here oh this is actually really cool well I don't know what do you guys think about building tons of pylons in each expansion to block the expo from zerg it seems it seems kind of wasteful it doesn't take that long it's like I don't know let me know what you think so we have uh, let's see Economy, oh, 51 to 29. So in this attack, I killed a lot of his units. He's trying to rebuild. He's killing a couple of overlords. I don't feel too confident pushing out yet. He does have a couple of Colossi. If we look at the units tab, two Colossi, six Dockers, three Zealots against 10 Hydras and 29 Roaches. So, it, okay, it's actually kind of lopsided. <laughs> All right. So you know how when you research something and you feel like because you researched it, you have to use it? I think that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling the itch. I am feeling the itch right now. Changeling! 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 Oh, no changeling. Yeah, anyway, I'm feeling the itch, and uh, I don't really need to feel that itch right now. But regardless, I am. And it looks like uh, I'm going to prolong this game a little bit. 11 stalkers, 3, three colossi. Now, if he micros looks colossi really well... Yeah, he do a lot of damage. No observer here. He does not see these roaches. Oh, bro. Oh, he does see the roaches. Wait. Okay, hold on. Where is that observer? I'm sorry, people. Wait. 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 What? Wait. What? Okay, whatever. I must. He must have attacked my roaches after they unburrowed or something. I am hallucinating or something. I'm trying to uh, attack move the Colossi. It looks like it's going to succeed. These Hydras are picking up the, the Stalkers. Roach is picking up the Colossi. And I do end up winning a close position. Zerg versus Protoss versus Big Bad Beaver. Not going to delve any deeper into that name, but I hope you guys enjoyed this match. I hope I was coherent enough to uh, deliver this match in a somewhat professional fashion, somewhat humorous fashion. But uh, why did I win this game? Uh, I think he I think he waited a little too long to get Colossi and the Roaches just overwhelmed him. They don't even have any upgrades. I got an evolution chamber for no reason. Overwhelmed him. Hydras and Roaches. Burrow action didn't play much of a part, but uh yeah, just just um yeah. 
yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. I, I love you much. Have a good Christmas. I will probably release a commentary tomorrow where I'll also say have a good Christmas. You know what? Fuck the holidays. The only holiday for me right now is Christmas. Suck it, bitches! Late!